what it is, you do do know who it is. It's your boy the moose. Let's kick it. What would you do with a moose on the loose? Would you go to a party? Would you sing with him karaoke? Would you raise him to a school? Would you stand with him at a wedding? Would you go to his corporate event? I ask you, what are you waiting for? Because he's already loose. Sound description. Glad you clicked on the video. It's time for the final wiring of my DJ table. Um, it's been three months. Um, got real crazy. Took me about this, this project has taken me since July to do um, because I thought it was going to be a wham bam real quickly. I bought a hundred things thinking it was going to cover it all, but I, even a hundred didn't cover it all. Um, I have um, bought like 500 of those little doodads, but. Um, in the end, it's finished. You're ready to go. So let's go ahead and show you um, what I plan on doing. I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to go ahead and put you on uh, hyperlapse so you can watch it if you want, or you can leave it if you don't want to watch this. But let me explain. Um, so the premise behind this, this is my flight case, DJ table, and my sound mixer, my big old sound mixer that I used to have, that big old rack, that's this, everything is combined. All the metal, everything came from all three of those projects. I put them together and made a DJ table. What I did was I bought another table that was existing. What I should have did was before I did anything cutting holes or anything like that I should have waited until I got the other table it would have made a lot more sense but a lot of headache here and there I could show you a couple deals that I got going and this video is not going to be too long I'm trying not to make it too long but anyways without further ado let's show you what we got going check it out this is it the hole that I made as you can see I uh, framed it out I'm going to show you the frame in a second but I framed it out the front the front wasn't like that I had to frame it out remember this was the actual bottom of the the, the case no this is the actual top this was the actual top of the case um, so that's pretty much the premise. This came from the case. Uh, that drawer that you see in there, it came from the case. Yeah, it happens to be uh, the controller. So let's flip this over. I'm going to show you this. As you can see, I have it up like this. Now, I could have turned this one back. Trim this one back and trim this one off. But I just like it the way it is. It's fine. But this one right here I'm going to keep. Because if, if I can push this down, it actually fits in here. And slides in the locks in place so it doesn't move around. And then as you can see the back of this one. I... That's pretty much in a nutshell. Oh, let me come over here and show you this. So, as you can see, here's the three holes here where the the um, t the stand was, and then this little hole right here is where the stand was, and so was that, and so on and so on. So this is basically the first table. This is the table that I almost finished. I had to fix it up, but as you can see, I put everything on about. I got the let me walk it through this, so you know. The right, the left, speakers, XLR. 
the main power. This happens to be for the whole unit. Oh, no, no, this is for my speakers. Power to speakers. This is my HDMI pass-through. Oh, excuse me, my HDMI pass-through. Here's my electrical. Um, the blue, that's my electric. Um, uh, it's running two, 220, adding the one, one for one between 120 and 240. This is what that can run. And then right here is my sub for my um, sub. As you can see, it's just a sub. I got a sub, sub, plug. And then plug it right in and be done. And then that's pretty much it. And as you can see, um, this is riding pretty well. As you can see, this works really well. That's sealed in pretty good. So anyways, that being said, that being said, now, okay, so this is the deal. Um, when I went to um, I had all the gear that I was carrying around. Um, I basically couldn't fit it in the small car. Um, I basically would have to leave the sub home um, just to take, take the rack. And then to take the rack, then I'd have to leave the sub home. So it would just be it would just be vice versa. So basically my setup now will fit in a small car. Um, the rack is basically the DJ table. Um, in a nutshell, it has everything in it. Now at the beginning, that small piece, the premise was put the microphone set up and put the, and put the, um, the power in there. So I tried that. I did that and it didn't so I cut the holes and I put it in there and it looked good it, it, and I tried that and I didn't like it because of the fact that I still was faced with all the wiring the wiring is what has been driving me to try to condense my setup so then I looked and I saw potential so the table itself is the DJ table, the DJ rack, and the DJ controller, all in one. Now, at first, I wanted to use the sliding, the, the, the sliding um, thing. I got rid of that because I didn't want the sliding rack. The, oh, excuse me. I wanted more space between the controller and and the the laptop. So that's why I put the laptop stand in there instead of it because the Roland 505 has buttons all the way into the back. And when you, you have to literally push that thing almost off the edge. And I didn't like that. So that's why I got rid of that purpose because I can't live physically. I, my hands are too big to go between there and there to push the buttons to get the to the um, to the Roland 505's TS um, the TS the drum machine. So I had to improvise with what I did. Once I did that, then I realized. If I put everything together, what if I put the this on top of this, and that's what I did on this side, and then what if I did this on this side? So then the microphone, what am I gonna do there? So what happened was, is that's half of the DJ controller, the DJ controller box. The box, I cut it in half, I put it there, Half the metal was there, so I just took the other half of the metal and, and, and framed it up. And that's how I got the premise of that. So you're looking at the bottom of the, uh, the Roland 505 flight case when you see that piece sticking up. So that's basically what that was. That was the, 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 the 505. And then all the hardware, all the corners and everything else. Um, if you notice the corners now. 
the corners on the bottom and the top. So if I really wanted to do this, I could actually put this together and I can put it on the table. Now I could actually cut a hole on the top of it and, and do all that other stuff and then fix the top. And I did that so I could set that up too, but I never, I never, um, I never actually did that. So that's the setup. Basically all my DJ controller, my DJ um, mixer box and all that other stuff all rolled into one gear. Now the only purpose to set this off was I needed to buy another table. So I went back to where I bought the original table. Now the original table I bought was $145. I bought the table again for $190. It went up 50 bucks almost. So it was expensive. This flight case is actually cost me some money, but um, in the end, it's gonna save me money because I, it doesn't take so long to set up. Um, because when you have a window of a, an hour at a gig, it's not gonna be, it's gonna suck having to do everything and then set it up and then be done with it. So that's why I did what I did because um, situations like the situation coming up, um, I only have an hour to set up. So, uh, and do a sound check. And literally, physically, I wouldn't be able to do that if I were kept on with my original setup. So, um, because it takes an hour and 45 minutes for me to wire everything together. Take the wire out of the box, put it together. Take the wire out of the box, put it together. And then by the time I was done piecemealing the wire together, it was time to go home. And you know what happens when you go home when you got all that wire. You're not sitting there trying to roll the wire up and, and do that. Instead, it takes you four hours at home to, to get everything untangled out of a knot. So that's basically the premise of the setup. It's so I don't have to go home and worry about uh, taking everything out of the box and trying to redo it. And then another thing I didn't like about the, the, um, the case um, that the sound was in. Mm -hmm is every time I pulled the wire out, I'd have to redo it and reset it and re-get it all out so I'd be able to do it and, and do it that way. This, everything's plugged into one thing. Everything's plugged in all together and it comes out with one wire coming out to power. The speakers has its own power because I want to make sure that the speakers are washed through and trust me, if I didn't, you would really hear it. You could hear it, but you could really hear it if I did it, if I didn't wash it through. So that's pretty much the synopsis of what's going on. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, go ahead and ring that bell for more notifications for videos like this and count my brother. Smash that like button and go ahead and peace out.